Good day, good day, everyone. Uh, we are going to quickly look at how to record expenses in ACMS. Um, so you have logged in as a treasurer and you want to record expenses. So the first thing you do is to come to expenses and click on the sub menu item expenses. You click there. And as I normally say in all of my videos, if you don't know where to start, you are on this screen and you don't know where to go, the easiest and the first place you must go is to the green button. So come and click on the green button and it will take you to recording expenses. So let's start with that one. So here we go. So you'll find out um, you, you will need to tell us which department is going to be um, used to record this expense. In other words, which department is paying for this expense? Which department is going to uh, as balance is going to be reduced uh, when this um, expense is recorded? So in this case, we have our treasury department and the categories. There is quite a number of categories that are listed here, and um, you pick the most relevant one to the expense that you want to pay. Um, a, an example would be if you are in construction and you want building materials, so you come and type building and you will find um, building maintenance uh, and uh, or even construction, let's try construction. Construction materials will be the most appropriate. Uh, pick a date that you are going to uh, record the expense. Uh, let's say it happened last week. You click on that date. The amount for this expense was 5,000. What type of document did you receive for you to use as backup on this transaction? You can come and select the most relevant one. In most cases, it could be a receipt. Uh, you are required to put in a number here for the receipt number. Uh, let's use that. And if there's a serial number for the asset as well, you can put it. If there's nothing, if you don't have any, you can put a zero. But I'm going to skip putting a zero so that you can see exactly what it will say. The supplier, in our case, let's say it was building materials supplies. That's the name of the um, of the institution that sold us the bricks. And uh, the description in this case would be bricks. And when I click on include, it will tell me that there is no serial number that has been entered. So I'm going to come here. If there's no serial number, we won't have serial numbers for bricks. You come and you click on zero and you click on include. So now this um, expense is ready for recording. As you can see, it is going to reduce the treasury department balance by 5,000. But we now need to also inform the system where are we getting this money from that we are going to pay for this expense. So if you come and click on payments, you'll get options. You can either take use money from receipt cash or from the bank, in this case to be APSA, or if it's a combination of both of them, you can use custom payment. In this case, we will use custom so that I can just let you see what is there. It will now ask you, when did you make the payment? We select the date where we made the payment. Which account did you use? We took some cash. So we use some cash here. Let's say we used uh, 2,000 Rand um, uh, cash. And then we just say here, cash withdrawal. Uh, cash withdrawal. And then we click include. We now realize that the total expense is 5,000. We, uh, we used 2,000, so we need another 3,000. Uh, and we can say this one, we took it from the bank. So we come and we reduce our bank account here and we put the amount there of 3,000. And we say uh, payment uh, to building supplies, building supplies. There we go. And we say include. So now our expense is 5,000, as we can see over here. And the total payment that we've made is 5,000. So this transaction is now ready to be saved. So we click on save batches. Oh, the period is not a mark, is not open. All right, so let's adjust our date. That's a good example of what can go wrong. So let's go and adjust our, our dates. We're going to adjust this date. If I click on the pencil, it will allow me to change this date. I think my open period must be May. Let's try 1st of May uh, in this example. And also here as well, 1st of May. Uh, so we have 1st of May, let's just do that again, come over here, all right, 1st of May, and then click update, so this should change to 1st of May, I have not clicked update, so click on the pencil again, come over here, 
31st of May and an update. Let's see if this patch will now save. All expenses and payments as well must be in the same period. That means the, the expense um, side was not in uh, in the same period. So I'll go come I'll come here and I'm going to also edit this one and I'm going to change the date here and put it on the first of May and then update and then I'm going to now save the batch and it should allow me to post this expense. So in this example, I've shown you how to record an expense, corrected the date that was in the wrong period, the period was not yet open. Um, in a demo situation, this is likely to happen. So this is the quickest way of doing an expense that is more than two payment methods. But you also see that there's another little uh, nice new uh, button here that says quick expense. You record this one if you have one expense with one payment method, it is the fastest way of doing it. So it, it combines both the payment and the recording of the expense. So in this case, I'm going to do treasury again. And this time we're going to pay for labor. Uh, the date, I will not pick June this time, I'll pick the 1st of May. And the amount is 5,000 in this case. And then the, uh, let's say I got another document to use. I'll put a zero here because it's a required field. The supplier, of this maybe was uh, Mr. Uh, Dube, who was our builder. So and then we put payment for building labor. And on the payment side now, it will ask us which account are we reducing? And I'll say in this case, we're going to use our bank. And when I do this and I say update, it has done both of those transactions I mean, those uh, the, the, one, the one transaction, both the debit and the credit, if you're in accounting, or it has reduced the treasury account and also reduced the bank in one click. So this is a much easier and faster way of recording your expenses. So I hope you enjoy these two ways of recording expenses and have a good day. Thank you.